I survived 100 days on one lucky block, and now it's a diamond lucky block. So I'm continuing the island, and the first thing I want to do is get more food. Yep, there goes my last pork chop, and so pigs are on the menu. Even though six pork chops isn't exactly amazing, but I'll keep going. In fact, I'll, I'll just buy a load more spawners. Placing those down should really speed things up. 93 pigs, 177. I, I think it worked. This is also on my server, penguin.gg, and you can use slash warp sp to come and see me. The only problem with taking out loads of pigs very, very fast, in fact, let's get these cooking, but the only problem is that you do tend to go through quite a lot of those. 400! Yeah, I'm never going to get through all of them. And I seem to have got a fancy sword in my inventory. It's a pig slayer. I think that's because I did the, the slayer quest. And now I have a much better sword, which <laughs> solves the entire problem. You know what, Iron Sword? See you later. Go in the void. Goodbye. And now how fast can I click? I am going so, so fast. All right. And you know what? I, I, I think at this point I've got enough food. I'm just kidding. This is not enough food. Oh, no, 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 no. This is enough pork chops. Yes, I am never going to have to eat again. In fact, I'm not going to take out those pigs. Let's go and chuck those in there. And now my food worries are a thing of the past. And I can cover this front in pig heads. All right, lucky block. We get 10 breaks every hour. What did we get there? Um, I, I, I don't even know what it was, to be honest with you. I'll try again. Okay, well, poison, that's a waste. Oh, no, I got a spawner before. I got a squid spawner. I've got so many of them. Four, to be precise. Maybe not that many, but it's better than nothing. Okay, we got some sky coins. We got more sky coins. We got food. We got poison. You know what? I'm just, I'm breaking it. Whoa! Okay, we got goats. And I don't know what the last one gave me. It got me 4,500. A bit of money as well. Now, in this chest, I do have a bunch of these skin crate keys. So I think I go in up and five them and get a fancy skin on this pig slayer sword. Warp crates. And I could do shift right click just to open them all. Let's do it. All in one go. Come on. We got these four and one more. Come on. Some are good place. You know what? I rate them. I think some of those are pretty nice. I can now do some equipping. I quite like this one. Oh my. Look at the size of that. Okay. Very, very nice indeed. You can only do it with diamond tools. So I probably need to improve my axe, my pickaxe, and, and my hoe. Yeah, that, that, they all need sorting. So I reckon my best bet is to upgrade my cobblestone generator. It's going to cost a thousand sky coins. Do I have them available? I, I think I do. Wait, can I? Okay, not again. But the lucky block gave me like 300,000 sky coins. So I have put them all in the bank. I'm going to do quite a few upgrades to this. And then I'm going to require a redstone torch. And the reason for that is if I go and head all the way back over here, my, my cobblestone generator runs off a clock system. So it like... But you'll see what I mean. Okay, it will push them every... What are you guys doing? You're a murderer. Whoa, why are you killing them all? Get out of there. <laughs> you murderous goat. They all died because of you. You selfish dinner bone thing. Anyway, if you mine this, it will push them down at a perfect rate as, as to when I mine them. Probably not when there's ores as well. I, I, I am going to need a better pickaxe. Hopefully some diamonds show up soon. That's the first diamond. Nice. But sadly, my pickaxe is broke. Now then, do we, we do have plenty of iron, but do we have plenty of sticks? It doesn't look like it, actually, at first glance. Can we see it? I don't think so. I need better organization in those. I think what I need to do is do a little bit of a tree chopping spree, don't I? Just to get a few more. We've got loads of saplings, although that gives me an idea. I do have a chest here. One chest that I missed with loads of sticks in. Okay, well, that's that's good to know. I suppose I should plant back one sapling just to be renewable, you know, because I, I, I think it'd be bad otherwise. But let's go ahead and craft, hopefully the, for the final time, an iron pickaxe, and then I can be getting myself all of the diamonds that I need. So yeah, it's it's back to mining we go. That's diamond number two. And finally, the third one, which I didn't go into the hoppers. Perfect. Now I have to go and get a couple more sticks. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. There we go. We'll grab those. Then I shall go over here and make a brand new diamond pickaxe. This does mine things a little bit faster. You know, it's, it's better than it was before, of course. But I think I think there's room for improvement. If I use slice enchant, I can then go ahead and go to this shop, which I believe is this one. We can go ahead and get, let's get efficiency one, two, three, four, and five. I'm rich, I can afford it, we've got 14 mil in the bank. We'll get all the unbreakings, and then I think we get fortune as well. Perfect. Now, the, the speed has increased. Now, the good stuff's flowing in. As you can see, we've got, well, one diamond. I'm sure there was more than one diamond that went through there. What's going on with my system? Okay, I, we just backed up. That's okay then. I was like, I'm sure I had diamonds. So I mean, hope it's just not quick enough. Is that the problem? It, it could be the issue. And we've got a bit of, uh, of coal going out into random places. Okay, well, that's that's good to know. Anyway, back to this. So far, that has got me 16 diamonds, which is very, very nice. God, I've been mining for so long. So I'm thinking, okay. I, for some reason, I thought that was a crafting table. I was like, what on earth is that? 
but we are going to go ahead and make diamond pants and diamond chest plates. And I think I'm going to invest in prop four as well. Now back to a bit more mining. And with these extra diamonds, I've got a speciality pickaxe as well. Well, that's rubbish compared. You know what I think of that? Can't believe it's even offering me that. Goodbye. See you later. I, I threw the right one in, didn't I? I think I did. Anyway, I think there's more diamonds in it. Oh, look at this. We're burst. I didn't realize that over a stack. I got, got a bit carried away mining, guys. So I'm going to do what I've got to do. Make some boots. Make a helmet. Buy prop four. And I'm starting to look pretty good. But I can do better. So, so much better. For a start, I can make my pickaxe. Oh my god, is that a spider one? Come on. Oh, I don't have that one, but I want it. I want all these ones. They look great. I'll just have to settle for one of these. The Dwarven Hammer, it obviously still looks pretty cool. I, I like it. I, you know, I'm happy with that. I'd have played mine with that all the days. Anyway, I should also make a better axe and a better shovel, shouldn't I? So we've got... Well, you know where the sticks are. I was going to say we've got the sticks over it. You don't need me to tell you that, do you guys? So we're going to chuck that in there. Then I am going to... Well, I've already got my diamonds, so there's no point worrying about that. We're going to make an axe, a shovel, like that. There we go. Bit of quick, quick crafting. Then I think I'm going to sell everything else apart from my pork chops and my wood because I don't want to lose those. And I will also sell absolutely everything here, which is quite a lot of stuff to transfer. Next thing to be done is go back to the shop and buy some of this. Now, is, it, is there any difference between it? It's basically the same thing. So we're going to buy, I think, I think four, five, seven, eight. I'm going to buy eight. I'm getting carried away by another eight. Then, if I just take a couple of iron, and I, I need my wood, which is all the way over here, isn't it? So we'll go, only need one, and then I'm going to go back to my crafting table, make sure I get the crafting table, and not the smoker. Then we go ahead, go like that, make a smithing table. Where do we put it exactly? Do we, do we just put it here? Why not? Why not? And then I'm going to start upgrading things. Now, then, will this take the skin off, or do I get the skin back? Yeah, you keep the skin as well. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So we'll go ahead... Do all that. I've got a fancy axe already. Apparently got the skin on that. That's good. Shovel on the other hand. Looks like a peasant. But anyway, I'll just upgrade my armor. So helmet done. That front chest plate done. Leggings done. Boots done. Equip it all. And look at me. I now look like I, I actually belong on this server, don't I? That's, that's more like it. Yeah, can we not get a skin on the shovel? Man, justice for the shovel, guys. You know what? I'm the owner. I can do what I want. But maybe that's something I'll look into because... I, I, I just think it's, it would just be a cool addition. And I should probably complete this farming quest. I need 300 carrots, 100 mil, and 350 wheat. I, I think I need to just go to work on it. I have so, so many of them. So doing that is probably not going to be hard. I'm just trying to think, how do I grow wheat? I have no wheat seeds. Then again, let's remember, SB, you're not, you're, not, you're not that stupid. Come on, grab yourself some bone meal. Grab, get some stone down. One singular moss in the middle, and then we can go ahead, bone meal it, get my hoe. Collect it. That should get me at least one seed, you would think. I'm hoping anyway. Did it get me a seed? <laughs> Don't tell me it didn't. What? Okay, well, we could always just do the exact same thing again. Will it be better this time? We shall see. There we go. We got some seeds. Now, I can actually start growing wheat. Might as well remove all of this stone as well. And you know what? I think I should take all of the wheat. Maybe some sugar cane as well. And I should turn it into bone meal. Because I, I, I don't need it, do I? I, I? Well, I don't know what I'm going to use it for. Also, these have grown, which is very, very nice indeed. So we'll go ahead... Harvest my potatoes. And this is this is going to continue to be the potato farm. I think it deserves to be the potato farm. <laughs> I don't know why. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and... Do I put the... No, I'm going to plant the potatoes. I'm trying to think if I want to do that, but I've got quite a lot. I'm just going to harvest the sugar cane. Quite a lot of it along here. Very, very easy to do indeed. I'll get that in there. I don't know what else I'm going to do with it, so we might as well. Now I need dirt. How do I get dirt? Well, I think we're just going to have to use something called the shop. Got a few million in the bank, so might as well splash out on it. And one of my purposes of this is to actually make it look good. I always feel like it just doesn't, I don't know. Sometimes I just go for like, oh, let's just build it. Let's, let's just not be practical, you know? Well, let's just be practical and not make it look aesthetically good. So this time I'm going to go, well, okay, I've got a full inventory. I was wondering why I couldn't pick those up. We need to do something about that before they despawn SP. Come on, don't let them go. Just throw that down. Okay, I don't want sticks. I want the logs, the good stuff. Come on. Then they can go in the chest. Then I just have too much uh, dirt in my inventory of all things. I don't really need that either. There we go. I don't need this to be any longer. But yeah, I, I want to make it look good, which is why I have opted for lime green concrete to be a border around this farm. That is the entire border done. So yeah, lime concrete, I, I think it looks good. I think I would like a pathway all the way through the middle, just for aesthetic purposes, really, you know, in case I, I want to build like another farm along here, then you can just have a pathway going all the way through. And then a nice green concrete border along this pathway. I'm thinking as well, maybe some glowstone along this bit as well, just like dotted along. The reason for that is because you do need a little bit of light for your crops to grow, otherwise, It'll be a problem. Like, it's not a problem right now because I've got nothing above them. But if I decide to do more layers, 
glowstone will be needed or something like that. So I'm going to think about it for now. I'm not going to bother because there's, there's nothing to worry about. But yeah, right now I'll just concentrate on placing down all of these, getting some nice borders along the pathway. I was short by just three. That's kind of annoying. So we'll go one, two, three, and then it's time to put all of this dirt to good use. Also, I suppose it's all well and good to be placing loads of dirt, but I've got to make sure I put some gaps in for uh, the water to go as well. That's kind of an important thing. There's something about something like this that it, it, it's kind of long, you know, you've got to place a lot of dirt down, but at the same time, it's kind of satisfying. You know, I'm just there placing away in my own little world, just, just placing dirt and, and no problem. The, the only issue is that when I have to concentrate where to put a hole for water, but that's uh, few and far between. Okay, what have I done there? Apparently I can't place very well anyway, so you can see I make many mistakes. But it's now completely done. Well, it would be done. Okay, wait, it would be done if I didn't do that. It would be done if I didn't have to do the exact same thing on this side. So I'd better get busy placing. And whilst I'm here, I think I'm going to just grab these wooden slabs and use those for water. So I'm also going to need some buckets. Do we have any buckets? Well, apparently lava's not in short supply. That's good to know. Water buckets on the other hand, not, not so good. But I suppose water is one of those renewable things. We've got infinite water sources right here. So let's just grab as many. Well, I, don't, I want to fill the inventory ideally. But that's fine. I've got uh, I've got one, one slot to spare technically. And then slabs are going to go in each of these spaces with water placed inside. Then I'll till all of the ground. And all this hard work means the hoe is going to get worn out pretty fast. It's, it's durability has not got le long left at all. But I'm just going to keep Keep going, keep pushing it to its limits, and uh, and then I will upgrade it to a better one at some point. Well, when it breaks, I'll upgrade it anyway. There we go. See you later. Iron hose are a thing of the past. I shall grab two sticks, mine a bit at the generator, and mine up some diamonds. From there, I can craft a much better diamond hose, so let's go and do that. And a diamond hose is just not enough at this point. I'm, I'm going all the way, which means buying a netherite ingot. I'm grading it using the smithing table. That is some serious dedication. And I'll also give it unbreaking three as well, because you know what? Why not? Now to get the rest of this ground tilled. There we go. That was... <laughs> That was a big effort. I just thought, oh, look at the speed of that. Anyway, it, it's kind of cool. It spreads. But I'm thinking it made a lot of sense. I could do it soon some meeting as well. But it makes a lot of sense that whilst I'm building this side, the, the carrots and crops and whatever I've planted here could be growing over this way. Just going to check the mission. What exactly was it that I had to grow? Okay, so carrots, melon, and wheat. So potatoes, whilst being probably the best crop you can grow, aren't, aren't important. So what I'm going to do is grow this, this singular one. There we go. Then use the fortune to get five wheat seeds. Perfect. Then, you know what we're going to do? Grow it again. Do the same again. Plant five more and you can see the wheat is spreading rapidly. Not rapidly enough though, so I'm going to go and turn this wheat into bone meal. I had some spare there as well. Do I do the same with potatoes? I don't think so. We've got 20 bone meal there. That's pretty good. I'm going to actually turn all this moss more or less into bone meal as well. Might as well. It's all about being renewed. Wait, what did I do with the... Oh, I put it. What am I doing? What exactly am I doing here, ladies and gentlemen? I have no idea. I'm going to put that in there. That's going well. We can mine this. Let's see. We we got we got some sky coins. Nice. We got a pig spawner. Oh, we got a pig spawner. I just midway through realized how cool that is because, you know, whilst I do already have 60 million of them here, <laughs> you can never have too many. Now we have 22. Very nice indeed. Let's... Uh, where's my shovel? I, I tell you what, it does annoy me that the shovel doesn't have any skins. Guys, should I add... It, so you could get skins for shovels as well. Let me know in the comments. Should I make it? Because I think, I think my pickaxe looks insane. Look at it. It just goes with my armor so well. The axe looks cool. I'll probably change that to a better one. The sword is ginormous. I love it. And then the shovel is a shovel. And a hose as well. Eventually, hose need a skin as well. <laughs> it's, and maybe armor as well. I don't know. I'm getting carried away. Anyway, I'm just going to carry on breaking this looking block. What's going on here? We got some boat keys. We got, we got some things. Right. I'm just going to keep going. Didn't seem to get any bad things. We got an auto salt. I think it just went... Oh, I got a vote key. I got loads of good stuff there, guys. I just went crazy and, and took the risk. But now, I'm just going to put the vote key there. I, I probably will open it at some point. I just don't want to open it just yet. What's this? A sell one. Right-click any chest to instantly sell all the content. Oh, that could be useful for, um, for like, this or something. So, I'll put it in there. Anyway, I'm getting distracted too easily. Let's just place these down because they're kind of spare. This pickaxe, I don't think I need an iron pickaxe. Any iron tools. See you later. Get out of my sight. And now I'm going to continue using the, the 20 bone meal to grow these little bits here. So let's just do that. Keep harvesting them over and over again, which is going to be perfect. And we'll just end up with so, so much by the end of it. I also realized it makes sense to bone meal multiple ones. I was doing it where I just bone mealed one, but it, <laughs> it didn't really work. I, should I save that bone meal? I, you know, I'm just using it. There we go. <laughs> so we got quite a lot of wheat seeds from that. There's more over there as well. Perfect. So I'm just going to plant as many of these down as I can. 
and then the rest of this area. If I, I tell you what, for now, I'm going to leave wheat over there. And then all the way at this side, I'm going to have carrots. We're going to have layers and layers and layers. Well, not maybe that many, but we're going to have plenty and plenty of carrots. And that looks pretty good to me. Yep, I'm more than happy with that. So now we once again take the dirt. I've done four layers this way. We also need to do one, two, three, four. I, I kind of just do these bits first because then I know that there's no like water to place down or anything. I, I, I like to get those bits done. And I just want to make it symmetrical on both sides. So I'm just going to make sure that I did four layers of dirt. One, two, three, four. I did indeed. So that's perfect. I'm just going to come back to this side and do one, two, three, four. And just do this. I'm just going to basically do a border with dirt first. And then I'll worry about all of the placing down water afterwards. Because that, yeah, that is the annoying bit. But, you know, it's kind of necessary when you're trying to make a crop farm, so I, can, I can't complain too much, can I? You know what, whilst I'm doing this, I've got an idea. I should use some sky coins to upgrade the crop growth rate. At what level? I'm on level 6, that's pretty good. Don't have enough sky coins to do any more. Un understandable, I've only got 6,000 uh, in this bank anyway. But that should hopefully speed those ones up just that little bit more. All the water bits are in, so now it's just filling in dirt in between, which is nice and easy. And I'm just going to take my slabs now, before I forget, and start placing those. I want to try and do it in a slightly organised way, but I suppose it's... <laughs> it doesn't really matter at this point, does it? But we might as well just get these down. And then I'll place the rest of the dirt. And once that is done, did I do this one over here? I did not indeed. I did indeed. Well, I have now anyway. But now that I've done all those, I can go ahead and continue placing dirt. Perfect. That is now finished. Do I have much spare dirt? I, you know, I, I did calculate that pretty well. And I didn't even calculate. It was just a lucky guess, guys. <laughs> just a fluke. But I'm now going to just create some space and go over to the sugar cane to get the infinite water sources. Then I can do that, then I can till all the ground, and then I can plant some crops. And what crops will I- Okay, I need more water than that, by the way. Um, what crops am I going to be planting? What am I doing here? Don't don't waste your infinite water sources. But yeah, what crop do you think I'm going to be planting, ladies and gentlemen? Well, I'm I'm going to let you wait and see. <laughs> I'm not, not going to tell you yet until I've placed the water down. And now that that's done, I'm also not going to tell you because I need to till the ground with this trusty hoe. That is all done, and you, you guessed it, yes. I'm going to plant potatoes. Of course I'm going to be planting potatoes. They are the greatest crop. That you can do. I, I'm not just saying that on it as an opinion. They are genuinely the uh, the best one for financial returns. So we're, we're, we're going to get busy with those. Didn't manage to plant that many. I think maybe I could be wrong, but I think in this chest over here I have a few more. Let's see. Do I have any more? I do. Okay. Uh, you know what? I have three stacks more as well. That's loads. And I've got more carrots. They should be planted down. And you can see I have melons in there. Now, obviously, I've got that quest to plant melons. So I have plans for that of where I'm going to put the melons. And I think it's quite a cool idea. But first. I've got three stacks of these to plant down, so that's, <laughs> that is my priority. They're all down. It's definitely looking a lot healthier, and I can now get all these carrots down, which is going to be perfect for me getting towards that quest, you know, having another 64. I think it's 300 that I need to harvest all together, and I'm not even sure how many I've got planted down here, but it, it must be a pretty good amount. And then the melons. The melons and the pumpkins need a spot as well, so I'm going to place two rows of dirt like this, one to plant it and one for it to grow onto. Next, I'll have slabs. How am I going to do this? Yeah, slabs like this all the way down and i'm not gonna have enough to do it all the way am i but that's nothing to worry about because i have an entire tree farm so i, I can just go and grab more very very quickly very very easily i'm just avoiding mining that one look at all the branches could, who could be bothered with that and that one as well they're both just <laughs> they're just gonna be too annoying my goodness, what kind of speed oh my hoe i forgot i have like a super fast hoe. anyway we'll just ignore that uh, although i, I kind of want to go for it it's quite good for um yeah getting saplings and they can just get replanted down straight away. Go on, give me more saplings. Fantastic. I can't really plant. A lot of places I've kind of built things, so there's not really much tree uh, tree growing space. Oh, I've got loads there as well. I don't know why I was even mining for it. Now back to my crafting table. I should probably just add more crafting tables around, realistically, but I suppose it doesn't matter. I would like to get a number that is a multiple of three. Then I get an exact number. Exactly perfect. And I'm just going to need more dirt. I lied. Right now, I don't need more dirt. Right now, I need more lime concrete. Then that can make a board around the outside. I'm only going to do it up to where I've got with these slabs because I, I think I want to do the slabs first and then the, the, the concrete. The reason being, then I can just kind of do this crouching method. Oh, there's a competition starting. Not sure if I'll be entering. Anyway, we've got those all the way. As you could probably guess, I'm going to... Do this a better way, can't I? Yeah, that's way faster. I'm going to be... Oh, uh, well, that's why I've not been doing it faster. But um, yeah, I'm going to waterlog all of these slabs, which might be a bit of a painful process because I've got to do it one by one, meaning every single one of these buckets is going to be put to good use. Three seconds of the competition. I don't actually know what it's going to be. What is it going to be? 
Top five with the most nether wart. Well, I haven't found a single piece of nether wart, so looks like that's me out of the competition already, ladies and gentlemen. Just wait till I get more established. I'll be winning all the competitions, no problemo. Taking a few journeys, but that is all of them near enough down. There we go. I'll be tilling these ones, so let's get that all the way across. And then I need the crucial thing, the melon seeds. Now, where on earth are I've got one pumpkin seed, I don't want that. I think, can you do these craft? No, okay, they don't craft across. So what I'll have to do is, if I can just get it out, grab my axe, then I'm going to do all of that like so. Okay, it's a little bit slow, but you know what? We'll take it. It's better than nothing. I thought it was going to be insta-break, but then I realised I'm... You know what? What am I doing? With efficiency 5, I could make light work of it. Yes, that is much, much better. Don't even need that many. We can then craft them into melon seeds. I think I'll turn these ones into compost as well. And plant them all the way along. Now, part of me is tempted just to be patient and wait for them to grow. The other part of me is tempted to just go ahead and bone meal them all and get them all straight away. But I, I think I should just pay be patient. I'm not going to be completing that, that quest today. Realistically, I should just take my time and wait. And what kind of a weather is this? Not to worry. I'm just going to power through and build the exact same thing on this side. So we're going to have two dirt all the way along to start with. And then I think this will just go like that. I do have the extra slab. I'm probably going to have to do some topping up. But yeah, I'm going to do this on this side. But instead of melons, we're going to grow pumpkins. That is the bulk of it done. Also, more of my wheat has grown. I should probably harvest that before I forget about it. And plant many more down. And in this chest, I have just one pumpkin seed. Hey, that one pumpkin seed, though, will soon become many, many. You just, you mark my words. Have me melons grown yet? Well, they're, they're in the process. There we go. So, everything's in the process, basically. I've just got to wait for all the crops to grow. So, I think I'll just chill AFK here. Wait for more to grow. And see you in the next episode. Also, I'm online right now. Type Warp SB to come and see me.